All right, how you doing today? Today, do my first look here at Google AI Studio, using it with Logic Pro to see what happens. I asked questions that I already knew the answer to just to see what it would give me and how it would help. This could help you with your music productions, songwriting, whatever DAW you're using, or pretty much just anything else, I guess. Basically, you go to Google AI Studio and you push the stream thing and you have it watch your screen, as you're gonna see here in a second. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think this will be useful for yourself. This is just my first experiment, like I said, with it. Let's check out what happened. Can you give me a jazzy lo-fi chord progression? You got it. For a jazzy lo-fi chord progression, try E minor seven to G major seven to C major seven to F major seven. That has a nice relaxed sound. Does that sound like something you're looking for? What do you think would be a good stock logic instrument to use for this chord progression? For a jazzy lo-fi sound, I'd recommend the Rhodes Electric Piano, or maybe a warm pad sound from the Salcomy Synthesizer. Both can give you that chill, mellow vibe. Do either of those sound appealing? Salcomy? You mean alchemy? Yes, that's correct. Alchemy. Would you like me to help you find the Alchemy Synthesizer in Logic Pro? Sure. Since you have the track creation dialog open, you'll want to select the software instrument track option. Then you can choose Alchemy from the list of instruments. Do you want me to walk you through the steps to do that? No, I found it. Do you recommend any of these preset, pa uh, preset sounds over here? For a jazzy lo-fi sound, you might want to check out the presets in the pad or electric piano categories within Alchemy. Look for ones that sound soft and mellow. Do you see any presets that might fit that description? I don't know. Let's see. Take your time. Let me know if you see any preset names that catch your eye. Or you can always try playing a few to hear how they sound. I think I'll try that one. Great. Let me know if you need help adjusting the settings for that preset. What do you recommend for drums for a lo-fi sound in the tempo? For a lo-fi feel with that chord progression, a slower tempo around 60 to 80 BPM often works well. As for drums, look for samples that are a bit muted or MPC style rather than heavily produced. You could also try adding some light vinyl noise or other room sounds to enhance the lo-fi character. Does that sound like the kind of vibe you're going for? Okay, I think I got it here. I'll just use the drum kit that I have loaded. Sounds good. Let me know if you need help adjusting the drum sounds or programming a beat. How do I um, add a bass line using the Logic Pro bass players? To add a bass line with the Logic Pro bass player, you'll first need to create a new software instrument track. Then, in the track inspector, you can choose the bass player option for that track. After that, you can customize the bass player's performance using the controls in the inspector. Would you like me to help you with any of those steps? I got a bunch of different bass options here. Which one of these do you think would work best? For a lo-fi jazz sound, a classic electric bass or even an upright bass sound could work well. Look for presets that are more subdued and not too bright or aggressive. Maybe try the jazz bass or round bass presets if you see those. Do any of the bass presets in Logic sound like that? Sure, I'll just go with the upright bass. Excellent choice. Let me know if you need help adjusting the bass player's performance or anything else. Okay, so I'm going to load up another here, a piano sound of some sort. Let's go to pianos. For a jazzy lo-fi sound, a classic piano preset or one with a slightly detuned or vintage sound could work well. Look for something that's not too bright or modern. Do you have any particular types of piano sounds you're leaning towards? 
Ah, uh, we'll just see what happens here. Sounds good. Let me know if you'd like me to suggest some chords or help with anything else. All right, so there you go. If you're still watching, kind of interesting, don't you think? Um, I'm gonna have to play around with this more. Maybe try to learn a DAW that I'm not familiar with. Like I have Ableton Live, for example, which I don't use that much. Maybe I'll learn it this way, who knows? We'll see what happens. Could be useful, could be something crazy, who knows? Anyways, that is all for now. I will talk to you soon.